We're going to look at an interesting chemical today, Lane. It's called lycopodium, which anytime we work with chemicals, it's important to kind of pay attention to the safety information on it, right? Mm -hmm. And this has a danger message on here, but it's also got a little symbol there. What, what does that symbol represent? Fire. It's a picture of a fire, right? That means it's a flammable substance. We want to keep it away from fire. And I'm just going to make a little pile of this on the table here. All right. And Lane, here is the lighter. I want you to light that for me. Got it. Let's hold that down there. Light that like a podium powder. There we go. So it's burning, right? Mm -hmm. Flammable substance. Danger. Right? It says mm -hmm. so in the container. Mm -hmm. Now, does that seem particularly dangerous? Not really. Not really. It looks about like a candle burning, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But the reason it's dangerous is because it is. It's a very, very fine powder. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of this over the fire. Oh. <laughs> so, it burned very differently, didn't it? Mm -hmm. We can take a little bit more. And it kind of flares up when we when we sprinkle it. Do you have any idea why that's happening that way? It's just so fine. Yeah, it is. It's because it's such a fine powder. It's that little bit of dust has this tiny little surface area that's able to burn very easily. Mm -hmm. When we have a big pile of it, you don't have that good fine surface area, so it's just burning very, very slowly. Kind of, like I say, almost like a candle wick. Makes a nice little orange fire, but it's not very exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, but using that idea of this flammable powder, this fine powder that'll combust very, very quickly and easily, we can actually do some really cool things with it. And let me just put our fire out here real quick, and then we'll, we'll show you something else we can do with our lycopodium. So we saw how our lycopodium powder, it burns very slowly in a pile. It kind of flares up if we sprinkle some dust on. Mm -hmm. But what I want to do now, I've got my propane torch, and I want to look at what happens when we actually put a lot of it across the flame really quickly. Okay. And let's just see, see what happens. You haven't seen this before, but it's a pretty interesting effect. And go ahead, put your goggles on here. And I'll kind of show you what we're doing and then we'll let you try it. But I'm going to take a straw. And we want to just kind of fill this straw up with our lycopodium powder. And once we get the straw full, we're going to actually turn our torch on and we're going to blow the powder across the flame. So what can you expect to happen when we do that, Lane? It's going to burn. Well, it's going to burn and it's going to burn quickly, right? Mm -hmm. So we should be able to create a pretty big fireball, right? Mm -hmm. Now the key to this, when you get ready to blow it across, you just want to blow one big breath very quickly, blow it all that direction. Mm -hmm. All right? So let's turn this on. We'll kind of show you what you can expect here. funnel out of my straw, but basically you can just kind of take it, aim it, it shouldn't fall out if you hold it straight, just don't point it down, and we can make a fireball here. You want to get it pretty close to the fire when you blow it, and we'll go in five, four, three, two, one, fireball. Pretty cool, mm -hmm. right? You want to try one? Yeah, sure. All right. You can go ahead and move your finger off, just kind of hold it straight. You want to move it up a little bit closer, about right there. There you go. And go ahead and blow through that in three, two, one, fireball. All right. Pretty exciting, right? This idea of this fine, flammable powder that when used in the right way can make big fireballs, big explosions. So pretty neat demonstration there. Just, you know, not only in order to burn, you need a flammable substance, but that flammable substance also needs to be under the right conditions. It's kind of like if you took a giant log and you try to set it on fire, it's not going to burn very easily, is it? Nope. It'd have to get very, very hot to be able to burn something that big. So when we start our fire, we use kindling, these little twigs, little pieces of wood that'll burn easily. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, we can actually build up a big fire, kind of like with our lycopodium powder.